before we uh, uh, go into the, uh, <coughs> the uh, this particular model, just a couple of a uh, couple of remarks on the uh, new uh, workspace layout. So you're going to have bigger space for the graphical editor because the properties of objects are now here on the right. Now uh, your projects tree and palettes are are here on the left, and these are the uh, palettes that you use. So um, process modeling library, which is where it's, it's, it's over here, it's the main object set for discrete event modeling. Then what else do we have? Um, pedestrian library, um, space markup with all these shapes that you see, see in seconds, uh, also general, etc. So this this is the new um, this is the new and this is the uh, gallery of uh, 3D objects for various uh, various purposes. Okay. All right. Now uh, this is uh, the model that we prepared for this demo. Uh, it's um, the the background graphics here is the, the floor map of an emergency department in one of the uh, American hospitals taken from one of our um, old projects. So we have like entrance here, we have rooms, uh, like emergency care rooms, uh, equipment rooms, etc. So uh, to uh, define where is what, in any logic you use what we call space markup. So these, uh, this is a path and these are nodes and uh, they, it's drawn um, on top of the background graphics so that the model knows where important locations are. And you can, um, you can kind of semi-hide the background graphics uh, so that you can concentrate on uh, composing this network. So uh, right now Nikolai is uh, just showing how to grow the network. Um, the network can have curved segments and it auto-connects. Okay, so the, uh, uh, the space is marked up this way, and uh, this is the first, maybe the first, uh, let's say, stage of the uh, model development. So you mark up the important locations of the layout. Now, let's go to the, uh, the actual process. So we have our space, our <coughs> graphics, and we have the process. So uh, the process here is that the um, the patient uh, arrives or is uh, brought by an ambulance. Then he seizes the room. Of uh, yeah. Uh, uh, we can select uh, the resource pool, the grave pillar, or by choosing from the road boundaries. Click on mod to choose it. Yeah. Uh, it's a resource pool in a, a set of alternatives. There are maybe several alternative uh, resource sets uh, for this uh, CS block. And uh, so I've chosen the, the rooms resource pool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the patient arrives and uh, he or she seizes the room. Then the next block is uh, move to. So move to the room that has been seized, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this is uh, yet another seized block, right? Mm -hmm. So here, uh, the, uh, the patient sees uh, two uh, different types of resources, doctor and nurse. And there may be, again, alternative links, for example, doctor and a uh, technician or uh, whatever, with uh, some priorities, etc. This is really uh, advanced stuff. Now, uh, look, <coughs> consider this additional, mm, let's say, branch of the, uh, the flowchart. So the, the patient seizes a resource unit, but before uh, this resource unit actually comes to the patient, uh, it needs to do some, let's say, preparation work. In this case, this preparation work is, uh, is just... Go to a registration? Uh, yeah, just to register. Go somewhere, register the patient, and then uh, come to where the patient is, right? So... Uh, the thing here is that resource, this is the main entity flow, and this is additional flow for the resource unit seized by the entity. So we can actually define a, a uh, if we want, 
an additional small flow chart for what the resource unit is doing before it actually uh, uh, starts uh, being used by the main enemy. Am I making sense here? Like preparation and wrap up work in separate branches of the flow. Okay? Then this is the actual the delay block, simple thing, uh, the actual uh, treatment. And then the patient releases uh, the nurse. nurse. And uh, all other resources. And then releases all other sisters, meaning uh, doctor and the room. Nurse, after being released, uh, does some wrap up work. For example, the uh, returns the registration card, whatever it is. And only then, here, this nurse becomes available for further usage of other enemies. Right? And in parallel to that, um, the patient proceeds through its uh, own flowchart branch, releasing uh, other resources and uh, moving moving to the exit. This is a very, very, very simple process. So, features here are first uh, link with the, with the graphics, right? And can you show once again how to show one? Yeah. Here we have a resource pool for rooms. Uh, it's a static resource defined by home location and uh, now I will choose uh, some home location for these resources. So actually I will choose rooms. I click this button and uh, proceed in this graphical selection on the canvas where my notes are drawn. So I built this uh, list without any code. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are we uh, ready to run this? I think so. Colored dots, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what will be our next step? Uh, I learned uh, some three-dimensional animation uh, just by dropping a special element in 3D middle. Oh, I can just uh, run the model again, uh, and uh, you'll see these uh, colored dots on the animation. They're now like small cylinders, right? Now I will add uh, some animation, some special animation. Here on the palette of uh, postmodern library, we have two different uh, uh, ways, uh, two different types of uh, for internet for resource unit. And I just uh, drag into the, uh, to the wall canvas where I can uh, choose the name, let me be doctor. And uh, I choose uh, the animation shape. And if you click next first, so if you want, you can define your specific resource, uh, sorry, parameters or resources or um, behavior. But so far, we don't need any specific things inside the doctor or nurse, right? Just the animation. So we. Uh, and here. Okay. Now it's uh, this needs to be explained for those who don't know uh, any logic. So we still have here our main. Uh, our main object here with this uh, animation and the, and, uh, and the process defined. We also have another, let's say, editor for the doctor type. Uh, so far, the doctor just has this um, animation shape, but no parameters, no nothing inside. But doctor is actually uh, uh, the um, object or agent which can have its uh, own dynamics, own parameters, anything inside. But so far, the doctor will be uh, just a, a passive, uh, a passive, passive resource unit in this particular one. Now I choose uh, the doctor in a resource pool. Doctor as a new resource unit, and uh, then I will proceed with any more 
it's a What are the patients? Patients are all right. Uh -huh. Can we make that? <coughs> no, I mean, there's no Yeah. I'm not sure why. Yeah, well, what is it you need to do? Yeah, okay. So yeah, uh, so the uh, so these are the uh, uh, patients who see the rules, right? And nurse comes in, and then they walk with the patients to her. Uh, or this was nurse with the doctor walking anyway, right? Uh, yeah, the doctor just moves to the room, and the nurse uh, goes to the station and uh, moves uh, to the room. The patient is waiting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is this is it with this first demo.